here, Moonglade. It's two and two, Maru versus Stats. We're going into game number five on Deadwing, a large map. Spawning positions mean a lot here. They do indeed, whether it's going to be cross map or it's going to be vertical spawns. It says a lot about the kind of game we're going to have. Possible parade pushes, possible uh, sort of aggression early on, or a late, late game that might actually favor Stats, though we are seeing Maru play greedier and greedier. You know, we, we did get a, a slight momentum lead here for Stats. Uh, but because it's tied up, it's really, really close. This happens very rarely in best of sevens that you get series that are this back and forth. Yeah, really, really close match we have. Both players winning on maps that you would not expect to win them on for their matchup and race. Exactly. All right, map number five, as mentioned, is Deadwing. It's time to get into it. Maru versus Stats here at the semifinals of the Neighbor Star League. And up here, to the top left of Deadwing, it is Maru. Yes. Mm. He's going to be very happy with vertical spawns here as well, most likely. He looks pretty tired, pretty stressed, though. His opponent to the bottom left in blue. He's going to have to be wary of those pull the boys pushes Not on this map, these locations. Is Mario the kind of turn to do those pull the boys, though, is the next question, because I can't remember the last time I saw him do that. He's definitely, n he's no innovation for that. Yeah, he's, he's no bomber. No bomber. No pult, even. Yeah, he, he definitely uh, likes his own sort of style to this, and we have seen a lot of him going for the greedy sort of style, the CC first. We did get to see him go for the, you know, the more aggressive style last game, going for those really quick cloak banshees on a map that's kind of more suited to it. This map, though, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see him Go for a Rax first. I was going to say CC first, but obviously no intention of doing that this game. Maybe yeah. playing a little bit more uh, aggressive. Might be that Reaper opening after all. Reaper into Reactor into Expand sort of opening. Safer. Uh, continuing to uh, shake his hand a lot. May just be nervous. His hands may be cold, you know. Um, wants to keep those warmed up. Shaking his hands, drinking that whiskey to numb it. Yeah. That's what you got to do sometimes. Yeah, man. If the RSI gets a little too much, and you get that uh, that uh, the nerves are, are too tense. I just take a sip. Just take a take a hit from that bottle. Take a swig, man. You're all good. Pro tip from a from an ex pro, guys. <laughs> no, don't ever do that. Don't do it. No, that'd be bad. You'd lose. Be responsible. Yeah, you just lose. You can't play like that, man. No. We are see that SCV go down towards the bottom left. It's going to be that vertical spawn scouting. Maybe it'll make uh, Mario a little bit happier that he went for this kind of build, this kind of game. Yeah, doesn't check the watchtower, actually. Um, not going to matter at all in this case. But, uh, you know, he's going to come in here. He may actually see that pylon. In fact, because he's going to run to this probe, I think he will see the pylon that's at the natural. Doesn't get the nexus block, though, so never mind. I was going to come in here and see just one pylon in the main base. And it's going to block the gas. We've seen this already from him. This is becoming a, a standard, a norm in this matchup. Doing what he can, delay it as much as he can. If he gets it out alive as well, it's a good thing. He, I think he will. Mothership Core won't be able to catch up unless the SCV tries to be sneaky, as we do see. Yeah, he wants to check the top left for the pylon. And actually, mm -hmm. not even going to see that. Life. Yeah, not even going to see it. Reaper staying at home because he's looking for that scouting probe. And uh, yep, there's the confirmation for you guys, if you believe us, that the uh, SCV died. <laughs> um, unlucky scout for stats. But, you know, he obviously now knows exactly where Maru is. Oh, he might actually get in anyway. This, this Reaper's going far left, maybe looking for some proxies. Afraid of that proxy Stargate once again. Unfortunately, it's going to give this window to the probe to kind of sneak in and maybe find something, but two Marines await him. Is Maru on spot? Is he waiting for it? He is, and he's gonna get it. Probe goes down. Here Reaper. comes that Reaper sneaking in. Reaper on the other hand, a cheeky devil. He's gonna be getting in. He's gonna be seeing the Robo. And that's about it, but it's all he really needs to see at this point in the game. I'm gonna make him feel pretty safe. Oh yeah. Gonna try for a probe. Nope. 
nothing happening. Yeah, that's pretty much safety. A safety sky. He can breathe easy and you know, go to the mid game. With not much of a worry about what's coming his way. Well, uh, you know, it's, it looks like it's just going to be a uh, forge comes up next. Just going to be observers coming out on the map. Stats loves his observers when he does his build. Sometimes he makes like four of them even. Um, we've seen that from him before. Just get vision all over the map and get your Colossae out, defend slowly, and take a third base. Mm, and I like what we're seeing uh, Maru set up as well. We do see four Hellions on the map. Many back on the way with a bunch of Marines. Yeah, it's going to be a drop. It's going to be a Hellion run by and a drop all in one. So a lot of potential for probe damage here, especially on a map like this. Obviously, the, the natural is pretty wide open, so those Hellions have a bit of room to kind of run by and look for the damage he needs. Yep. Let's see how much he... Uh Oh, well, he's got, like, how many Hellions? He's going to have six? He's going to have six. That is a lot of dead probes if they get a good shot off. If they, yeah, if they get the right spot. Plus, there's these Marines here, too. Mmm, I like this a lot. Good choice. So, you think he's just, yeah, he's just going to drop the Marines in the main to distract and then send the Hellions by ground. I like yeah. this a lot because Hellions are fast. They don't need they yeah. don't need to be picked up. They don't need a medivac. But the unfortunate thing here is Stat sees it all with the Observer. He knows exactly what's going on. He has a sentry to help force field, but... The main base is undefended if he sends everything to defend these Hellions. And look, there's that force field. Just going to run into the main base. Oh, this could be more than enough there, especially with the Marines here to kind of help. Well, the probes are lining up. He needs to target. Ooh, he's splitting as well as he can, but this could be a disaster. Oh, as we say 13. that, 13. Go down, man. Even more. I think 16, 17, 21. Wow. Oh, boy. It's only needed. It's only needed. That does 21 probe damage. I mean, he is absolutely fine right now. He can resume his sort of gameplay. He can just pick it up from here, you know, go into the mid game with such a lead. Even go for that third base if he wants. He puts down a bunker at the front because he's going to be kind of wary of any sort of counterattack. Yeah, I mean, he just traded all of his units. So, you know, he doesn't have very many out on the map right now. He's going to keep the pressure on, though, with these two Widow Mines. Unfortunately for him, there is a cannon to each base, but that hasn't stopped Widow Mines from doing damage before. Doesn't stop. Doesn't stop Widow Mines at all, man. Just means they have a shorter lifespan to get that one money shot off and kill uh, half the probes in one hit. Exactly. A few stalkers nearby here. If he can actually beat the Nexus cannon out, if that's panics, that would be a huge win here. I don't think he will, though. No. Here we go. It's going to be the... Is he going to go for the main or is he going to go for the natural? Boosts in. That. He's looking for it. Oh, he's not going to get it. Nope. He's going to get... Oh, Ooh, a few. At least he didn't get that sentry. Oh, that would have been huge. It. He saved it. He saved it well. You know, every little bit counts at this point when you've done that much damage. Two zealots in the main. Now we're going to get some harassment done. Oh, this could do a bit of damage, actually. There's only about four marines coming to help deal with this. Yeah, if he just warps in any additional zealots, this could get even worse. Already three SCVs killed. And he actually might just want to kill those Marines. He could if he wants. Looks like he just wants to get rid of as many SCVs as he can. Yeah, Pretty also... Pretty big bank for Maru. What? Yeah, wow. Damn. What? Throw down a third CC, I think, at this point. Like, he that's has, too much. He has six barracks, right? Like, I think they, they just must they, not have add-ons yet, or...? I think they only just finished, which okay. is why it took so long. Like, they use, like, building them all at once and upgrading and getting a... Uh, Getting add-ons. Yeah, now a reactor being built as well. Yeah. I don't think this Widow Mine's going to find any damage. No, it's going to get one hit by anything. Even a probe, I believe, will kill it. Observer's there as well. Yeah, that red, that probe, uh, that uh, Widow Mine is, like, super red, man. It's, like, as red as it can get on, like, the RGB scale, man. It's pure red, man. It's yeah. pure red, dude. He's still going to look for some. It's, here. like, even a red Widow uh, Mine. Oh, he might. Nope. <laughs> no, nearly. <laughs> One more, like, half second, and he's, he's got it. Unfortunately, not finding anything there. No. Keeps the medivac alive, though, so yeah, not too bad. Pretty rough situation for a pro to be down on Harvesters because of the mule effect as well. Right now, like, oh, economic, yeah. well, uh, economically, Sats in a very yucky place. and He's caught up finally. Like, he's, he's nearly on par with the SCVs, but, yeah, he's in a horrible place when it comes to, like, where he should be in the game and where he's at. Yeah. I'm not sure what he can do to fix it. Like, this drop is going to get totally shut down. In fact, he's going to lose the warp prism. Yeah. That gives him even more room to send every single unit he has out and start applying that damage before even a third uh, can be even thought about for stats at this point. Like, he's just trying to get as many clusters as he can. He's adding gateways, he's adding units, getting clusters range. He's not even thinking of, of taking that third base anytime soon. Yeah, there's no way he can. Not against this much pressure. 
Three Colossi are out. Range is about to be finished. 13 seconds left on that. So Mara's not going to be able to hit before range. So he's going to have to be careful with how he engages. And there is a Warp Prism on the way. So if he really commits, it could you know end up costing him a little bit here. Should the uh, the Warp Prism get away with getting into that main base. Yeah, he's got to be so careful. He need, really needs to start uh, Viking production as well. Like, yeah. I mean, when you have that many Colossi out, three Colossi out, and no doubt more are going to be on the way soon, you really need to start the production. And he does have the he does have the reactor on the starport. He just has to start making them. Okay, we see another drop loaded up here. Double drop, in fact. Mara wants to find like a a different way to approach the, the main. He's not just going to come crashing in from the front, especially not on a dead wing. He has to kind of draw some units away, try to pick off a Colossus that's accidentally walking on the ledge like that one we just saw for a second. We see that happen all the time on this map. He's got plenty of units at home to defend the Warp Prism. Ooh. If he can stim it, he might be able to get a couple of hits on these uh, Colossus. Zealot's cleaned up easy. Big stim to run away. And he actually didn't hit that Nexus too hard. Double drop. Looking for that drop to the main base that has absolutely nothing there currently. Nothing. Nothing at all. And he doesn't have blink. And I, he saw it, quote unquote. Okay. He's going to respond now. He's got a few High Templar there. Ooh, they have a lot of energy, actually. Feedbacks would be almost lethal at this point. Nearly. Maybe on one of them. That's, oh! Wow, the Stalker hits. Sealing the deal. Damn. Still gets one drop off. Quad drop going into the natural there, and this one is completely undefended. This yeah. could be a lot of damage here. All Especially the on the forge. The oh yeah, that forge totally exposed here, and plus two is almost done. He could go for it. The Temple Archive is researching Storm, not too far away either. Forge looks like it's going to go down here. Oh, going for the Temple Archive. He's going to get it, I think. He gets both. Oh, he's going to get it. And cancels alive? both Storms and escapes with two <laughs> medevacs. <laughs> that was a huge move. That is critical damage right there. Getting rid of the upgrades, getting rid of that, that Storm research. Keeping half your army alive as well. And he didn't kill that Widow Mine, so that's something that could become an annoyance later on. The Stats is the type of player who can bounce back from something like this, but this is definitely not going to make it easy. Well, man, he's getting further and further behind. Down 30 supply, down in economy, down in army composition now, especially without that storm. No more threat of the Warp Prism. Mara knows this again. He's got eight Vikings on the map already as well. Yeah, and he has total uh, vision of the left side of the map, so if another Warp Prism comes, he can send the rest of his units back, but because he knows that there's nothing there right now, he can easily just send those reinforcing units now down into the middle of the map. Look at this massive army just walking, marching across the map. That's Look the, at that's that. That's the kill move right there, man. That's the kill move. Look at that. He scans. He sees nothing but Zealots and Colossus. Like, where are your? where is your any air right now? What are you going to do when I send in my ten Vikings? Absolutely nothing. You no have two storms. Stalkers. No storms available. In fact, I think he's got a few high temperatures. He should probably make it to Archons right now. Because that storm is not going to be ready. That is not going to be ready. He's going to have feedback. And here we go. Big hits on the Colossus. One down already. Not even any force fields coming down, which I think is a massive mistake from stats. Yeah, I think he might just almost have already like given up in this game. He doesn't even make those Temple Arcs into uh, Archons. Finally gets the feedbacks off, but that was even risky in itself. So it's going to be too little too late. This Nexus is going to go down. The pylon goes down, canceling the Zealot Warp in. GG. Wow. Maru takes the lead. Very convincing game, that one. Yeah, very straight up. Just good harassment, better play. I think that was the most straight up game we saw today, actually. Like, Yeah, that actually was like a pretty normal game. And, you know, you're just fighting that run by with the Hellions and just not enough sort of reaction from stats. And losing 21 probes in like the first few minutes going to put you behind for the entire game. Yeah. Well, Stats getting some words here from his coach. Both coaches, in fact, in the booth. And you can tell how stressed he is. Look at his hand placement here. He's just listening intently. He's got a million things on his mind right now. It's tough to focus on exactly what both coaches are telling him here as he goes into the next game. And uh, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. The map is going to be Foxtrot Lives. Another map he had a great win rate on. 4 5 oh. Still, this is no easy task going up against Maru. No, not when it's match point either. The pressure is just mounting on here. Especially with a, min a win like that, the most convincing win of the series yet, I think. Maru is no doubt going to be riding that momentum. Yeah. Don't forget we have King Sage on Station as the seventh game, if that uh, does come to pass. So that's a good map for stats, a map he already won today, and a map that really suits his style, as you were saying earlier. So I feel like for stats, if I was his coach, I'd be like, focus on what we talked about on Foxtrot. You're great on this map. 
make it to that seventh game. That's your map anyways. Just stay focused here. Don't get too stressed out. Don't let Maru's momentum roll you over right now. Mm. You can do this. Yeah. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stay strong. It's going to be interesting. Countdown.